wouldn't call it a relationship, but I've been at his place. I've, I've, I've been with him. I've been to his place more than three times, so yeah. I know him. Just like I said earlier, I told you my phone was stolen recently, so it was stolen when it was like had no password, I didn't secure anything, but everything of mine, just like anyone, people get high, they get high and do worse things, you know. That was my moment. I did my things explaining to some friends of mine, I, I called friends, but still they didn't share it anywhere. So that's when my phone got lost and this thing is all over. There are more things to be excited about, but what is happening in this video and what people are saying in the video that uh, I'm trying to look for fame. I have a family to protect. I'm a mother, first of all. I'm a mother of one, yes. So I wouldn't love to expose myself like this, like a person who doesn't have where she comes from. I have a very responsible family I come from. I wouldn't want to be spread like this just to make fame, just like everyone is saying. She's a slave when she's trying to look for a name. I'm not looking for a name. If I wanted a name from Katamba, Eddie, I wouldn't. I would have gotten it already because I have more of this. I have more of his stuff with me, but I'm not that stupid. At least, I can't be that stupid to share this. It's only when my phone just got lost and it went out of my hand. Apparently, I'm just, I just want to clear my family's name mm. to just let them know I'm really sorry. This thing went out of my hand. My phone was lost. Everyone, I'm not perfect. Everyone does mistakes. Yeah, but this was personal in my phone. When my phone got lost, that's when it went viral. I started getting calls from different people claiming that I'm the one who spread this thing that I did. That's oh. what I want to let the world know. The world should know that I did spread my Apparently, I'm not related to fear. I don't, like, not at all. Fear is just a person I've met like twice at her show. And there's one time I met her on, um, on uh, Kampala Road. She was driving, then we met, like, we just chatted as friends, we started, we, we exchanged numbers. She's my friend, but I'm really sorry, I'm badly sorry about this. I didn't have any return. I any intent. Apparently, by the time I became friends with Fee, I wasn't in touch with Kat yet. <laughs> Apparently, people have been calling me, different TV stations, Rachel's. Some of them have been even threatening me, like, there are this... Some of their interviews were like by force. Wherever you are, we are going to find you first. We want to know what's your side, what? I told them, you know what? I was only not picking any call. It's only you I picked you. I picked up. I decided to tell you what's happening. Mm. And that's, this is my last interview. Mm. Yes. Yeah, because I'm not, I didn't do anything wrong. People lose phones. They get lost. Things happen. No one is righteous. No one is perfect. Things have happened. They have gone out of their hands, but I didn't intend to get fame or anything. Like, what is, what is there in that video to celebrate about? Sleeping with empty cats? No way. That's not an achievement in life, right? So I couldn't brag. I have a lot to share, to brag about, not that at least. My phone was just stolen, so that's it. That's all I'm trying to do. I'm clearing that air. I didn't, I didn't share no video. I'm, look, I'm not looking for fame, but I'm protecting the name of my family because apparently it's gone. It's gone. And for my dad's case, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry.